Well, if you know my work, you know I try to show people alternative sources of money and you know, to do things in life. But I also show alternative sources of other things. And one of the things that interests me really is the law. I mean, we're a country of laws and we live in the greatest democracy in the world and we think, you know, you have to hire some lawyer at two, three hundred dollars an hour uh, to get justice, you know. But I, I don't think you do, you know, because there's alternatives to that. Like if, if any organization or business or something messes you over, there's probably a, a government agency that will fight for you <laughs> if you know where to ask. But they don't advertise, you know, on TV. They say, you know, if you have a phone, you have a lawyer, you know, and you're going to hire a lawyer and spend hundreds of dollars an hour, whatever it is, you know, and, and they have to go out and learn the law for you. Instead, you could talk to somebody who wrote the law and also enforces it and they're more powerful than your attorney because they can put them out of business. Now for issues that you have to fight the government, well they're the nonprofit organizations, you know, and because there's a lot of nonprofits, again, they won't have advertising money tell you, you know, <laughs> you have a phone, you have a lawyer, you have to find them. So like this, uh, the Ferguson incident, you know, in Missouri, the young man that was shot by police. So how do you know your rights you know, when the police come up to you, you know, well, you could go to them. It's ACLU.org. And what they have is a Know Your Rights pamphlet and information and everything. And it's for Know Your Rights about anything. Like if you're stopped for questioning, stopped in your car, you know, question about your immigration status. Well, what are your rights? Even if you're, you're, you don't have papers, you still have rights living here. You know, if you're approached by police or immigration agents at home, what are your rights? Or you're contacted by the FBI, if you're arrested, you're taken to immigration you know, custody. Or if you feel your rights have been violated, what do you do? Well, they have all kinds of help there and they have offices and actually they're in like 50 states now. They have uh, over 200 full-time lawyers. They have thousands of volunteer lawyers all around the country that could help you. So that's available. And, and just going to the website information, sort of like getting stopped, you know, in your car. Well, they have right on here is your rights. You have the right to remain silent, it's like in you know, <laughs> the TV shows. If you wish to exercise that right, say so out loud. I don't want to talk. I want to remain silent. And there's a cute little video of this if you go to YouTube and put You Know Your Rights. Uh, and the, the, there's a stand-up comic guy, uh, Elton James White, who does it. So on YouTube, Know Your Rights, uh, uh, ACLU. Uh, and the other thing is that you have the right to refuse to consent to a search of yourself, your car, or your home. Or if you're not under arrest, you have the right to leave calmly. And you have the right to a lawyer if arrested and ask for one re immediately. And regardless of your immigration or citizenship uh, status, whatever your status is in this country, you still have constitutional rights. And here's other things I, I think is even more important, how to deal with the police. Because that, that's sometimes when we really get, at least a smart ass like me could really get in trouble. Uh, they, your responsibility when you're, you're stopped by anybody is to re stay calm and be polite. Do not interfere or obstruct the police. Do not lie or give false documents. Do prepare yourself and your family in case you are arrested. And do remember the details of the encounter with the police. And do file a written complaint or call your local ACLU office if you feel your rights have been violated. <laughs> so that they're even asking for business that they're going to give you for free. <laughs> That's what's so neat about uh, this country. Everything's for free almost if, if you know where to look. Um, and these are important issues and, and we live in fear because of fear of the unknown and we don't know our rights. So, so when you know your rights and then you know <laughs> the known known, as Rumfeld used to say, uh, then it's easier to get through life that way. And so this is a wonderful source for knowing your rights. You got to know that.